Hello everyone. In this lecture series, we are going to cover the whole DU EVS syllabus holistically, and I'm gonna start with the overview of chapter one, that is definition, scope, and importance of environmental studies. So, without any delay, let's begin with the definition. Environment in literal sense means to encircle or to surround. and on the basis of this only environment is defined as the physical chemical and biological world that surrounds us as well as the complex of social and cultural conditions affecting an individual or a community so from this we can infer that environment consists of both biotic as well as abiotic community now to remember this easily let's consider an example of web of a spider here web represents the web of life that surrounds everything be it any organism any species any community any wildlife biome as well as the humans so now let's see one more term environmental studies here we will be focusing on environmental problems through different perspectives and disciplines and this will be covered in detail in the coming videos now i am hoping you guys are clear with the concept behind these basic terms So let's move on to the next slide and see what is the scope of environmental studies. In the recent years there is a tilt towards environmental studies and this tilt is because we are now at a major turning point in the human history and for the first time we have the resources motivation and the knowledge to protect our environment and also to build a sustainable future for ourselves and for our children. This is the reason behind the emerging career options some of which we will cover in the coming slides So firstly let's discuss about research and development in environment here the main objective is to develop clean and green technologies and to promote sustainable development it also considers the indirect benefits like pollution remediation soil protection and recreation Now here you guys don't have to worry about the meaning of these highlighted keywords you all can find the definition of these keywords on our website link will be in the description you can go and check it out so now let's move on to the example here you all can see about investing in pollution control technologies as it is going to be a potential market in near future and that is it for research and development now let's move on to the next slide Now next is green advocacy. It is about the requirement of environmental lawyers, advisers and experts to handle the cases or to get the approval or permission of the government for various activities. Let's see the example of this. You all must be knowing about NGT, National Green Tribunal. This is tasked with providing effective and expeditious remedy in cases relating to environmental protection and conservation of forest and other natural resources. Now next is green marketing and then green media. So firstly let's discuss green marketing. In the coming times the demand for environmental auditors and managers will increase with the increasing demand of marketing of environment friendly goods. That means everything will be looked or done from an environmental angle. Now green media. It is also the best and authentic way to spread knowledge as well as to raise the voice of masses for the sustainable future. Now lastly we will talk about environment consultancy many environmentalists and NGOs alone as well as with the help of some government bodies are actively participating to prevent the unfavorable alterations to our surroundings and these are also taking proper measures to solve the problem Now after knowing the scope of environmental studies let's see the importance of it Recognition of environment's importance can be traced all the way back to Vedic period as there is the mention of Agni, Vayu, Varsha etc. So we can say that importance of environment was recognized a long way back and now environmental studies is going to play a critical role in shaping the perception of whole world. So let's quickly look into the points. First, environmental studies help in the conservation of biological resources like microbes, plants and animals. Second, environmental studies helps to perceive or to identify the potential health hazards to human and animals. 
Third, environmental studies create awareness about undesirable changes occurring due to anthropogenic activities and to promote sustainable development. Fourth is bioremediation. It is a natural process for waste treatment and to improve the growth and health of organisms such as earthworms and other soil microbes. Fifth, prevention of greenhouse effect. Sixth, reduction in biodiversity losses by understanding the local people's sentiment and requirements. Seventh, it helps to maintain the nutrient cycle and also increase the soil fertility and productivity by the use of integrated nutrient management practices. I hope now you guys have a general idea about the subject which we are going to cover in this series. If you have any doubts, do mention them in the comment box and we will try to answer it at the first. And for the detailed notes, visit our website hrcharitma.com. That's it for the video. Thank you very much.